Hey, hey guys, it's Nick and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a basalt generator. But as you can see, I got a new skin. Looks pretty dope. I'm not trying to copy te Technoblade or anything like that. But as you can see by my icon, YouTube icon and banner, it's a pig with a crown. So, you know, I'm just... And that's kind of like Technoblade. So, I'm not trying to copy him, you know. But... I'm going to be showing you how to make a basalt generator. So what you'll need for it is a slime block, a piece of blue eyes, six slime blocks, actually. Um, the list will be on the screen right now as I'm saying it. But then a piece, one piece of blue eyes, two observers, one piece of soul soil, and then either three sticky pistons or two sticky pistons and one normal piston, depending on what works and what doesn't work. We'll get into that later. But then either... An, uh, unmovable block, whatever you call it, I don't know what I just said though, um, and, and just extra block, you know, just in case, you should always have an extra block, but, let's get into it, so, what you'll need is your blue eyes and slime block, so you're gonna place blue eyes, slime block, and you're gonna place your two observers down, so now, we don't need any more observers, and any more blue eyes, so we can just get rid of that, okay, Next one is going to be right here. We're going to place a piece of piston facing this way, sticky piston, and a slime block right there. Then we're going to put a sticky piston there, slime block right there. Now, if this piston doesn't work, I'm pretty sure you just get a normal piston, and it should work. Now, what you'll need here is a 4x4x3 four by four by spot, so 3 deep, um, 4 long, 4 wide. doesn't really matter, actually, but... Um, you should probably just do that, and then you will do, like, an L shape, and, um, you'll have to get the piece of, what's it called, soul sand and ice right above and stuff, that's what makes this, the ball, basalt. Now, that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six pieces of slime blocks now you're just gonna clear out the way for it and uh, then you're gonna place your block in front of it it's gonna start going rain basalt being a troll but basalt and it should also be great for bridging across something you make it just follow it along with something like that good for mining as well um but then you can, I haven't tested it out, but let's try to place a normal block in front of it, and it does stop. So you just place a normal block or any type of block in front of it, but just to get it going, just place another block, it'll start going again. But, that's um, it for this video, I just showed you how to get a basalt pretty quick, pretty easy, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Okay guys, so the second um, basalt generator is probably going to be the easiest actually. The other one was kind of a difficult one. But what you're going to need for this one is four trapdoors that won't burn. Um, a hard to break block, or honestly you can use anything. Soul soil, or you could use nothing for obsidian, it doesn't matter. Um, soul soil, blue ice, and lava. Those are the main things f to make... Um, basalt let's change the weather to clear and we've got so what you're gonna want to do is place a temporary block of course um, and then you're gonna want to encase this with trap doors besides the front because that's gonna be where the um, lava is so then you're gonna place soul soil in the floor blue ass to the side obsidian and back um, and then you're going to take your lava, and I just did that, but take your lava, and put it right there, and it should, um, do that, and then you'll just, you know, destroy, it'll take a couple seconds to destroy, and if we go into slash game mode, I can't, I, I, I haven't played in a while, okay. Survival, we are here, let's hope there's no creepers around, yeah, so you destroy it, and then you put the obsidian back there, so, um, it's, you know, doesn't destroy that, but then you just do this, and it's pretty good generator, honestly, for the overworld and stuff, but otherwise than that, um, let's move on to the third one. 
Okay, build three for the basalt. So, um, there's probably going to be four builds actually instead of three, but the ingredients you're going to need, or the building materials you're going to need, are going to be your basic building materials, which is lava bucket, blue ice, and soul soil. Then you're going to need a lever, two redstone dust, a piston, an observer, and four blocks of your choice. Now, to get this build started, you're going to place one, two, three blocks down. Then you're going to come to the soul soil, or this um, block right there. So you got your three, and you got this one. So this one will be your soul soil, and this one will be your blue eyes. Next, you're going to place a temporary block right there, and point that upwards. Then you're going to come over here and put a piston right there. Then you're going to take a build or a block right there again and you're going to put the redstone dust right there now when you put a lava here it should start making um, basalt and it's going to push out to stop this you're just going to put a lever right there and um, stop it now the thing about this is it goes pretty slow and it um, only has 13 um, block capacity because the piston can only push 13 blocks or 12 blocks, it can only go like 13 blocks or something like that. 12, 13, it's one or the other. But we can test this out right now, and we'll just get a pickaxe, and there we go. So we're gonna test it out, turn it on, and then we just start digging. Now the thing about this is there are no losses, so you will, um, you, you don't lose anything. Uh, so that's the thing about it. Um, but it does like take a while to um, replenish more, but otherwise it's pretty good, and that is probably not maybe one of my favorites, but it is pretty good, and I just set ourselves in survival, but yes, that's it, and oh no, the house is getting broke, <sighs> okay, well, um, let's go on to the third or uh, third and then fourth one, okay, this should be the last one, it's the fourth one, pretty sure and so what you'll need for it is just forget that but you'll need one soul soil four i don't even know what way i'm going in but four blocks of your choice a lever if you want to turn stuff on and off um two repeaters an observer piston five redstone dust a piece of blue ice and lava bucket so what you can tell is you're gonna do like a one two three like that kind of okay so just do that or you can just do this kind of where um we we start off but um pretend that's dirt okay we didn't do anything and actually let me change the weather to clear okay but then you're gonna put soul sand there um blue eyes there so now you're gonna put lava there not now but you will and you're gonna put a piston there that's going to be pushing the um, basalt out. And then you're going to do a, um, a observer facing right here. So when it senses it, it's going to turn on the redstone and push that. And you know, okay. Now you're going to take your repeater, do that, and it should be on a uh, no tick delay. This one um, should go. I don't know which way. We'll test both ways. This one um, full delay that way. And then you'll go around and into a block right there so four blocks and now when you place the lava it should start working yes all right so since that's not there um you can hear how noxious is it it is so when you do that it's supposed to um what's it you could just do this honestly if you wanted to and then you can turn it on and off. Um, that's like more noxious though. So like, if you want it to be quieter, you'll have to do that. So that's it. It's facing this way, I'm pretty sure. And it's facing the observer area, and it's on full delay. And then you can turn. You can always turn it on and off, and it'll only go about 13, 12 blocks or something. And so that's pretty cool, and so that would be the last generator. I'd say this one it would be my favorite. 
unless you're doing it in nether but this is like an overworld generator you know it's it's a cool design and everything we'll have to test out with some more stuff and but yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one peace